What's up guys, Reese here from Reese3D.com. So this is the third part of our rigging tutorial with Human IK. So in this video, we are going to uh, further work on the skinning part to make sure that there's no problem in the character. So when we do the skinning, generally sometimes we might have uh, issues in terms of the place where we have joints. Okay, you see those kind of problems. So let's see how we can fix this. Okay, so let me turn on my um, joint here so that I can see the joints here. And I want to select the mesh and go to skin, paint, skin weights. So let's go to the options here and that opens up this tool settings here. And I can basically select which joint I want to work on. So if I just right click here, I should be able to um, select which joint is going to have influence here. Now, if it doesn't work, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and click on these joints here. So let's say I want to find this joint, right? So this is where uh, the proper naming would help, right? So we have our left arm, there you go. So left shoulder here and left arm here. So these are the two joints that we want to work with. Now you can see exactly what's happening here. So the places where it has white color are the areas which are being influenced by these joints, right? So this joint basically has got influence in all these areas. And this joint, if I select this next one, has got influence on this area. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. But we have this area where we have a little bit of overlapping between these two joints. So that's why we have this problem. So let's see how we can fix this. And first, I'm going to create a simple animation just to make sure that how these change in the movement is happening. I'll press S. So that creates a keyframe here. And I'll go to frame number 10, rotate it down like so. Press S one more time. So now if I just go back and forth, I can basically test how this animation is or how this deformation is happening, right? So let me just go to 10 here and I want to just make some changes in this deformation. So let me just select this mesh again, go back to the paint skin weights and we have, yep, that join being selected. Right, so what I want to do is I want to select this previous join, that is the shoulder joint, and I want to add some more um, influence or more power for this joint to have on this area because I want this to be pushed out here. Now to do that, let's go down here and you will find the value. So values by default is one. So a value of one means it'll, it's going to make that area white, more white, right? So that's fine. Let's just try to paint here, okay? So when we paint here, we need to uh, make the brush a bit bigger. Sometimes you might have the brush too big, so you need to be careful here, okay? Press the B key and just click and drag, so that's going to make it smaller or bigger, okay? So that's, I think, okay size. And I'm just going to click here. So watch what happens when I click on it. It just pushes out, so that makes it um, more whitish, right? So I can just click here as well. So I want these areas to have more influence um, by this joint, uh, the, the shoulder joint, right? So I can just click here. There we go. That's maybe not. Let's see. Um, I can actually experiment it out. I can just test out how, yes, that's that's looking fine. So I can you can see that uh, this is actually not getting affected uh, by this movement. So I can just move this back and forth. That looks fine. Good. Now, one more thing that we can do is we can also smooth this area, okay? So just to uh, not to have too much of influence here, but just a slight influence here. So for that, we can actually go back here and click on the smooth here. And let me just try to smooth it out. There you go. So now keep in mind, anytime we can just uh, go back and forth between this, um, we can, if you think that, that you have smoothed out too much, you can again go back to replace and just paint with one or even 0.5. If you want to have like half influence, then you can use a 0.5 as well. Uh, let's keep it at one for now. Okay, so this side looks good. And I want to do the same for the next joint. So um, I think that looks pretty good. Let me just press three to smooth it out. Yep. 
I think that fixed the issue. That uh, looks fine. Um, maybe a little bit more influence for this joint here. So let me just go ahead and select the uh, left arm. Okay. And we have value of one and I can simply paint here. There we go. So that is it. Let's just try to uh, play this again. Yep. That looks fine. Now, if we want, we can also smooth it out a bit. Let's go to smooth. Yes. That's it. So let's uh, take a look at this area. Let me just go back here. You can see that there's a bit of flexing happening here. Let me just. So there's some kind of issue that's happening here. So let's go back. Okay, I wanna make sure that this area does not have any kind of influence from here or the other area. Let's see if I can just, um, let's go up here. Arm. I think the arm has the full control, but uh, something else is also having some influence here, I guess. Um, maybe I'll just make this zero. Let's go replace, make it zero. And I want to make sure that this joint does not have any influence here. So let me just click and drag. Yes, that was the problem. So you can see now, it just goes back. Yes. So basically when you do these kind of movements, you will basically know if there's any kind of odd uh, issues there, okay? Okay, so that looks perfectly fine now. Let me just press three, get back here. And I want to move this guy up. And yes, now it looks perfectly cylinder before we had some weird uh, issues happening there. That looks fine. All right, so now that we fixed the left side, we also want to do the same thing for this other side. So you can see that we have this little issue here. Okay, so let me just get back here and I will select the mesh, go to skin. There we have mirror skin weights. Let's go to options here. Let's reset everything. I think uh, the settings is fine because we are working with YZ axis and we want to make a mirror from positive to negative, right? So let me just click on this mirror button here. Okay, so it must have mirrored. Let's just check uh, to see if. Yes, so we have the problem fixed and it looks same like the one on the left side. Okay, so you should do this step after you fixed the entire character, just one side. So the left side, you can fix the hands, you can fix the legs and everything. And then you can just make a mirror to the right side. So now our rig is ready to animate, right? So let's just see if I can just do a simple animation here. So let's say I want to start... Uh, by moving this leg here, moving this leg here, and I can just move the hip a bit down. Okay, there we go. So that's our starting pose. And I can have the hands, um, I can just keep the hands like that, no problem. All right, so before we animate, we need to basically create a keyframe. So let me select all these red ones um, and press S. There you go, let's go to 10 and I wanna move hit forward and I want to move uh, this forward here. I think that's too much forward. Maybe. Yeah. All right. There you go. So let's keep it something like that. So let's press S for all the three or we can actually turn on the uh, auto key so that I don't have to press S every time. So you can see that he started walking, right? So um, instead of just sliding his leg, all I can do is just go to five and um, make the rear leg go up. There we go. And hip as well, go a little bit up. All right, so let's see. Yeah, there you go. So he goes forward and if you want we can actually do a little bit more uh, 
nice looking so yeah there you go so the leg goes forward and if we just keep on animating we can just make him go do all kinds of stuff so that completes this tutorial series on creating human uh, rig using the human IK in Maya so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to watch more videos like this stay tuned bye bye have a nice day Thank you.